Hello everyone, I'm Christoph from Intech. Well, we represent here Intech Studio and first time at Superboost. Currently we have here our modular MIDI controllers. These are working prototypes currently and we have a small demo set going on right here which is mapped with Ableton. I can send, for example, and launch clips. My scenes are followed by the controller. A simple four-channel setup. My volume faders are mapped. Some basic sends. Casual MIDI mapping stuff. Filters. Currently, this module is automated with an Ableton to be playing as a filter rack. So right here I can add some weird filtering, but I can easily remove live one of the controllers and have here as a drum module and play some patterns. Also, these modules have different mapping possibilities when rotated, so this way it will be also working in a different manner. So coming back here, it's again a filter bank. All of these controllers have their own USB connection port, so all of them could be used by themselves. But as you can see here, only one USB plug is needed to control and power up these modules. Up to six modules could be used with one USB plug directly with your computer. But up to six modules, you would need another power supply, for example, a phone charger to give the needed power to keep on rolling and keep on giving more controllers to your setup if you want to. So there is basically no limitations to extend your control surface. Yeah, uh, also these controllers are currently um, talking with each other through serial communication and uh, they are higher resolution than standard MIDI. Currently they are working uh, uh, with 8-bit resolution, so from 0 to 255. Uh, this will be probably changed or a bit altered by using later on a standard uh, uh, plug-and-play MIDI connection and protocol by, and, and using the system in that way. Currently we have a max uh, driver up and running to, transfer, to transport the communication from these modules for Ableton. On the other hand, we don't only have um, digital controllers or you know, the standard MIDI controls right here. Also we have this module which currently is used as a sequencer. It has eight stereo outputs and sends out CV and gate signals, but it has its own wavetable VCO, uh, a 12-bit synth engine. And currently, this little bleep sound comes from this module. I have here up and running a very simple sequencer patch. I can make uh, some of the uh, steps muted, can add uh, pauses to one of the steps, change the pitch. This is only one of the use cases which could be configured and used with this analog module. So this is really a bridge between the dough based MIDI controller world and Eurorack or analog hardware. All of these modules are Eurorack compatible, uh, 21 HP each of them. We currently think of a bracket uh, solution to interface them with Eurorack. We have our website up and running, intech.studio. Uh, there you can find more information about the grid MIDI controllers. Uh, currently, we are thinking of a crowdfunding campaign by the end of summer. Uh, the target price for these modules is around 120, 130 euros per each module. On the other hand, this uh, analog module will come probably later and uh, will be around 200 euros.